So to tell you a bit about how I feel about badgers, I decided to bring you to my local badger set. My house is a couple of hundred meters away, so the guys that live here feel a bit like neighbors. This is a classic badger set. The hole is much bigger than you'd get for a rabbit, and out the front of it there's going to be a big spoil pile, which is where everything that's been dug up from inside the set has been dumped. Here we've got dried bedding material which has been taken out by the badgers and dumped outside, and if you look around carefully you'll see lots of black and white guard hairs which are littered everywhere. The badgers are going behind me into the field, which you can just see the light out on the other side of the woodlands, and that's where they'll be feeding at night time for things like worms and uh, probably for beetles as well. Um, and I very rarely see these badgers unless I put my camera trap out because they're mostly active by night. But I have seen on my camera trap these badgers coming out of the set, running around, having a good sniff around, playing with each other, um, sometimes grooming. And I have to say, I'm absolutely smitten by them. Even now, at my age, having spent my entire life working with wildlife, every single time I see a, a badger, it, it's still a treasure, it's still a precious moment. And I think that's probably because, you know, we've lost so many of our big carnivores here in this country. We've hunted out the wolves and the bear, and actually, all that really remains is the weasel family, the family that the badgers belong to. So we've got otters, weasels, stoats, and probably the king of them all, certainly the heaviest, is the badger. They're a fabulous animal and one that I absolutely adore and I think that everyone in the British countryside should learn to love them.